Hey guys, it's DT and welcome back to another one of my big unboxing videos. You guys have been asking for more Lego sets, so today I've got this. The Lego Bugatti Chiron. So as you guys know, we don't talk about toys on my videos. Now even though this is made by Lego, a toy company, this is anything but a toy for kids. First of all, this says it's recommended for ages 16 and up. And this is a 1 8 scale replica of a $3 million sports car. Now I don't know too many kids under 12 years old that are in the market for a $3 million supercar, but if you are, good luck to your parents. So this is Lego set 42083, 3,599 pieces. And as I mentioned before, it's for ages 16 and up. This set has been sitting on our shelf for the past year collecting dust because nobody wanted to build it. Everybody heard it was super difficult, so they didn't want to touch it. But today, I think we're finally gonna take it out of the box and put it to the test. I mean, the car looks awesome, and I think it'll make a nice addition to my display cabinet. Okay, so here's a look at the back of the box. We've got some close-ups of the interior, and we also have a view of the rear of the car. So on the side right here, we have a shot of the rims that say actual size, and the side view of the Chiron. So before we start building this thing, our LEGO Star Wars UCS Imperial Star Destroyer video finally reached 2 million views, and as promised, we've got this guy. So this is a $700 LEGO set that we're giving away to one of you guys. So make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video to find out how you can win this. Okay, the moment of truth. Woo! So right off the bat, this is not your ordinary Lego set, as you can see. We've got a nice design right here. We've got the wheels nicely displayed here on the left side. Check that out. Those are some nice rims. Need I say more? This is not a kid's Lego set. Okay, look it. So we've got uh, box one. Box two. Oh, and look at this. This middle thing wasn't even a box. It was the instruction manual. Got some pics of the real car, some things about the design and engineering of this. The real car on the left, the Lego car on the right. Then we have some stickers. I bet the real car didn't have stickers this nice. Okay, then we have another big box. Sorry guys, I got the boxes wrong. This is box number five. This is box number three. This big one right here is box number two. This is box number four. We found it, box number one. So we're gonna start with this guy. Oh, and we have the second manual, book two. Okay, let's put this thing together. Okay guys, so here it is, the completed Lego Bugatti Chiron. This was a monster build. I have to say it's probably the most difficult Lego set I've ever built. I definitely would not recommend this for beginner builders. Can a 10 year old build this model? Maybe, but just a warning, many a tear will be shed. <laughs> so probably the most frustrating part of building this model was making a mistake and not catching it right away. So what happens is you're linking all these pieces together. Once you have a structure built, it's basically impossible to go back and add something or fix something that you did wrong. In most Lego sets, you can usually trace back the steps, find your mistake, find it on the model, and then do some little Lego surgery and then either stick in a piece or remove a piece or switch it around. But in the case of Technic, um, you really can't do that. I made two mistakes. They were very small mistakes. 
However, in order to get back to them, I had to disassemble everything that came after. It was not pretty. I didn't record that part where I actually disassembled everything and then rebuilt it because I don't think you guys at home want to see a grown man cry. But here it is and I have to say, all the difficulties aside, this is an incredible Lego set. Okay, so enough blabbing, let's take a look at the car. So the 2019 Bugatti Chiron cost about $3 million. They plan to make 500 of these cars. The top speed is listed at 261 miles per hour. However, I think one was clocked at over 300 miles per hour. It has an eight liter quad turbocharged engine with 1500 horsepower that can go from zero to 60 in about 2.5 seconds. This is currently the fastest production car in the world. It's very similar to the Bugatti that you've seen in the pictures. There are no windows or windshield on this model, but without molding a separate piece, I'm not really sure how they would have accomplished that. So the build starts off building the motor and the rest of the drivetrain. It didn't look very pretty as I was building it. It's not until you get to the final boxes where you start putting on the exterior of the car, but it was very interesting to see how everything works. So I was wondering how they were gonna do some of those swooping lines that you see on the Chiron, and they use these flexible tube pieces and kind of form that curvy shape. We've got some on the side here, right by the door as well as right underneath the windshield, on the hood as well. And of course, we have the signature Bugatti horseshoe grill in front. Those pieces are also found along the bumper, along the top here, and also the rear tail lights. Up in front, we have the headlights. It's composed out of these clear pieces that are kind of built in a staircase fashion. We've got some blue and silver wheels, just like the real car. We have the light blue brake calipers that say Bugatti on there. And all four wheels have spring shocks. The doors both swing open. Doors are connected in the middle with a Technic pin. We have stickers for the interior of the door. Uh, there are side mirrors, however, there are no mirrors on the mirrors. Okay guys, I just noticed I forgot another piece. I thought this might be an extra piece. It looks like it goes right here on the door. It doesn't look like that's gonna be too hard to fix. It's not like it's part of the engine or some part of the interior. So I think I'm gonna be able to fix that. Inside we've got some nice beige or tan seats. Both seats have adjustable headrests. The seats don't recline, however, and that's probably due to the fact that behind the seats there is zero room. The upper part of the dashboard is a sticker which ties in nicely to the tan dash that we have below it. We have a couple more stickers on the sides. It look like those are vents of some sort. In the middle we have our shifter and we can shift gears. We also have some paddle shifters down here in the middle. And it's really cool how these gears are actually functional. Another thing that's functional is the steering wheel. As you can see, we can turn the wheel right and left. So you can actually steer the car. Above the steering wheel, we have our gauges so we know exactly how fast we're going and if we're about to get a ticket for going 200 miles over the speed limit. Because the paddle shifters are there, there is no gas pedal or brake pedal. There is actually no leg room at all. So I guess they sacrificed a bit of reality for functionality, which is fine because, hey, you're too big to sit in here anyway. The engine takes up most of the rear of the vehicle. It doesn't look like there's much space to store anything. No cup holders. Maybe you can say that one of these Technic slots is a cup holder, I don't know. We do have some storage space, however, in the front. If we lift up the hood, there is a little compartment and inside we have our little Bugatti handbag. A very nice build, but it just goes to show you how much space there is to actually store your stuff when you are traveling in your $3 million car. Another cool thing in the hood is that it has this little serial number. I guess it's sort of like a license plate that is unique to each set. So no two Lego Bugatti Chirons are the same. We've got the W16. 1500 horsepower engine. As you move the car, we can see the little pistons going up and down. We have this big strip of lights, which is represented by this long, flexible red piece. We have some exhaust. And finally, we have the spoiler. And what's cool is you actually get this buildable key. It just flips open like this. So there's a little slot in the back and you just stick the key in, give it a turn, and look at that. Spoiler comes out. You can also go back down and come back up and go back down and come back up. If you happen to uh, break or misplace your key, 
um, you can always use this key and push it down or pull it up. Don't worry about losing your key, uh, but it is nice to have. It has a little sticker here that says Chiron. Okay guys, so that was a look at the Lego Bugatti Chiron. Very cool model, very cool car, very hard to build, uh, but well worth it once you get it done. Just make sure to take your time with the build and I think you'll be happy with the result. Okay, so that was the car, and now let's get on to the giveaway. Okay guys, so here it is, the LEGO UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. Uh, we had a lot of fun building it, but this one we got to give away to one of you guys. This one retails for $699. Uh, you can buy it right now, or you can enter our giveaway, and one of you guys will win this. So we set up a giveaway with Gleam.io. If you click the link below, it'll take you to the giveaway page. There are a couple rules there, so make sure you read them. You must be at least 13 years old or older with a valid US address. It'll ask you to put your name, your email address. So we can't collect that information from children. So make sure you're at least 13 years or older or ask your parents to enter for you. There will be a series of questions. You can answer as many as you want. Just make sure you know the answer. Don't just guess because if we draw your name and the answer is incorrect, that entry will be disqualified. To find the answers, they're all in our videos. Uh, we'll give you a link to which videos you need to watch. And the more questions you answer, the more chances you have to win this. And to make sure that you guys have enough time to enter, we'll be randomly choosing our winners on Saturday, March 1st. And we're hoping to do a live stream. We're not sure how that's going to go with the Gleam.io app because it shows the winner's full name and email address and we don't want to do that. So we may do a live stream and not show that part. We might have to do a recorded video. So this of course is going to be the grand prize, but this isn't the only thing we're giving away. We're going to be giving away some Amazon gift cards. We've got some signed autograph pictures. We're going to be doing some shout outs. It's going to be a fun event, so make sure to tune in on March 1st. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.